Hello there everybody and welcome to another BDSP Wi-Fi battle. Today we are trying out a Sino team. Again, as usual, we have the three starters plus Toxic Rock plus Porygon Z with Specs plus Lead Frost Lass with Destiny Bond, but we are not gonna lead with Frost Lass because the opponent does have a Tyranitar and a quite decent team. So yeah, so lead Tyranitar, we're gonna expect that we're gonna lead with our choice banded Infernape. But I'm just gonna U-turn because he's probably not gonna stay and plus U-turn super He's gonna cancel the battle. Why are you canceling the battle? Let's play! Play me! Did you not like the lead? Okay, I allow you to change your lead, it's okay. Just give me a battle. It's a hustle to actually find battles in this. But after this was recorded, uh, Mr. Orskid, shout out to him by the way, definitely check out his channel. Uh, told me that Smogon actually has a code that you can connect to where you can find actual proper opponents from Smogon, but yeah. So after this one, we're definitely gonna be tra trying that out, so whatever. Just bear with me for, for today. Anyways, I'm gonna U-turn, he stayed and he sets up his Stealth Rocks. I'm gonna switch into my Torterra and I'm gonna, send it, um, I'm gonna set up my own Stealth Rocks. He's gonna Thunder Wave my ground type like a pro like the best player in the history of our sport, he's gonna Thunder Wave my Torterra, epic win, just keep doing that, he's gonna Earthquake my Torterra, again, epic play right there, I'm gonna Earthquake him and I'm gonna finish him off, and that's gonna be the end of his Tyranitar, so there you have it. His team looked good on the team preview, but I don't know, let's see, <laughs> let's see how this goes. Uh, he's gonna send in his Togekiss, and I definitely don't want to stay in there, and uh, he's gonna take some Stealth Rock damage. I'm gonna send in my Pochama, my uh, Empoleon. Uh, this is an Agility Empoleon, I have never used it before, ever, even when it was popular back in the day, I actually never used it. Uh, there's the Air Slash, so this is like the super annoying Togekiss set, so... I was thinking either agility to be faster or just ice beam right away. I just ice beamed in case he he switches out, but he stayed in, ice beamed, I mean air slashed and flinched me. So I was like, okay, this time I'm gonna agility, hopefully I'm not gonna flinch, but yeah. In comes Suicune, uh, and it's fine. This is an offensive Empoleon. Offensive Empoleon does pack the Grassanaut sometimes, and uh, we should be fine. We should be having the upper hand, especially because there's no hidden power in this game. So there's no way he can hit me super effectively. He stayed and went for Substitute. I guess he just didn't expect me to have the Grass Knot. So, whatever, maybe he expected to have a free sub right there. It's okay, I guess it's whatever. Uh, Grass Knot is gonna break the Substitute, obviously, but uh, he's gonna set up a Coal Mind. Uh, maybe he thought he could take Grass Knot better? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know these days. I don't know anything these days. Uh, I'm gonna go for for another Grass Knot, um, if it doesn't kill him, he still can't do anything against me, so... We're pretty safe here, we have an agility up, he, st he switched out, he sends in his Scizor, and uh, I know Scizor also doesn't get super power in this game, and even if he got it... Actually no, I have the Shaka Berry, I don't have the Chopper Berry, I have the Shaka Berry on this, uh, on this Empoleon. I'm gonna smack him in the face with the Hydro Pump, he does have the Citrus Berry, but... It doesn't matter because another um, Hydro Pump will just finish him off, but he went for Source Dance. Um, surprising, I don't know. Uh, there's another Hydro Pump, it's still not gonna miss, and that's gonna finish off the Scizor. Uh, Empoleon being a pro right there. Empoleon, no? No? Yes, no? Yes, no? Okay, whatever. Dragonite, get yourself a Dragonite. Ice Beam, unfortunately, is gonna finish off because he lost his multi scale. So, um, Dragonite couldn't be a pro, as we are used to him being in the previous battles, when we used them. Get yourself a Dragonite. Anyways, Ice Beam will finish off the Togekiss at that range, and um, I believe... Oh, hi, Jesus, playing Metroid. <laughs> I don't... Um, there's the... The Thinny. I went for a Hydro Pump. He's actually gonna live it, and he's... <laughs> He's gonna try to counter my special attacking Empoleon. He's gonna try to counter it. Like... That's all I can say. 
No comments. I'm sorry. All I can do is applaud. All I can do is applaud, and this is gonna be the end of the battle because he's gonna quit. I mean, good job, Empoleon. You you did well. But anyways, this is it for Sinnoh. Now that I did a Sinnoh battle, I'm gonna go to Veilstone, I'm gonna change my clothes, and I'm gonna try to give a redemption to the Johto team. This time I used Cyflosion, Quagsire, um, Umbreon, Steelix, Choice Specs, uh, Ampharos. Uh, yeah, basically, I the only starter I'm using is Cyflosion, and I also have a Dragon Dancing Kingdra. The opponent has a decent team, but of course, of course. Why wouldn't he have an Uber? Why wouldn't he bring a Palkia? But again, as I said before, from now on, after this video, I'm gonna be trying out the the code that Mr. Ors Kid gave me. Apparently that one has competitive battlers. And uh, I'm pretty much also done with the, with the theme teams from all gens, so... Anyways, lead Garchomp, I'm gonna lead with my Specs Ampharos. Awful! Awful for me, I'm gonna switch right away into my Quagsire, and uh, he's gonna go for Dig, and I'm like, okay, I understand they give you limited TMs in this game, maybe he already used his Earthquake, whatever, I understand, it's okay, I'm gonna go for Scold, try to fish for a burn, it didn't happen, whatever, I'm gonna go for it again, if he switches out, maybe again we can still fish for that burn, he's gonna switch into his Azelf, and um, no burn did did a quite decent amount of HP damage right there. I'm gonna send I'm gonna send in my Umbreon. Maybe he's gonna go for a psychic move. And um, yeah, let's see. He's actually gonna go for nasty plot. Uh, my uh, Quagsire has uh, unaware because I learned my lesson from my previous Johto team battle. He's gonna go for dazzling gleam. It's gonna do over half. I'm gonna go for Yon trying to put it trying to put him to sleep. Again, Umbreon doesn't get toxic in this game, which is quite terrible, but whatever. I'm gonna protect. Uh, he's gonna stay in, try to go for another Dazzling Gleam. I guess he just wanted to get rid of Umbreon at this point, but at the cost of him falling asleep. And now I'm gonna go for that foul play. And foul play? Mmm, foul play is gonna hurt. Foul play is gonna hurt big time. Big, big time. As you can see right here, he's still asleep. And foul play. Boom! One hit KO! Al Carrer! Azelf, Al Carrer! And we are in a really good spot, so let's see what's gonna happen. He still has that Palkia, which we have to deal with. We have to deal with Palkia, it's gonna be a problem. And um, he's gonna disconnect. <laughs> God damn it, but whatever, this is gonna be it. Uh, he disconnected and they kicked me out of the room, so whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more battles. I had something in mind for Christmas, but it didn't happen. It was something never seen before in this channel, which is crazy because I've pretty much done everything on my channel. But there is one thing that I haven't done yet. Uh, unfortunately, it was planned to be played yesterday, but um, yeah, it couldn't happen. But whatever. Um, all I can say is it's going to be something unique, but whatever. Uh, there's still something that I have to do on Pokemon Let's Go, so maybe I'll upload that for Christmas. I'm not sure yet, but whatever. As for BDSP, as I said before, I'm gonna be using the code that Mr. Oskid gave me, so expect more competitive battles from now on, so whatever. Anyways, have a wonderful day and allons-y!